seated position, just one dumbbell. We're gonna do alternating leg twists with that dumbbell coming down to the opposite side, working those obliques here. Make sure that your spine is nice and long, and of course, your core is super engaged. <laughs> really bring those elbows down, really over accentuate that twist. Making sure that you're inhaling and exhaling through each and every move for the duration of this workout. We're almost done with this first move. Nine more to go. Alrighty, we're gonna come down to our back with both dumbbells. Bring those knees up. We're gonna do a bicycle with a shoulder press. Bring those shoulders off the mat and we're gonna alternate feet, arms pressing up directly overhead. Eyes pointed directly up. You don't wanna pull forward, you don't wanna pull straight up. Pretend like there's a fishing line attached right between your eyes, right up to the ceiling. Toes pointed, core is tight. Great job. We're gonna flip it to plank and do some leg tucks. Hands directly under the shoulders. All right, we're gonna go knees up to the chest, then knees crossing to opposite elbows, then knees to same elbows. So center, cross, outer. Make sure to keep that booty out of the air. You don't want it raised or elevated like so. You wanna make sure that you stay really long in that plank. Make sure you're still breathing through. This is definitely an arms and an abs move in combination. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> Great job. Next up, flipping it back, we're gonna do tricep dips with leg lifts. So we're gonna dip three times and then follow me from there. Raise up, we're gonna go one, two, three. Touch the opposite leg, one, two, three. Opposite leg, and if this is a little challenging, you can simply lift your knee to your chest, like this. Or you can reach for your knee. Whatever you do, make sure you're working those arms and that core. Reach. Last one. Great job. All right, grab those dumbbells again. All righty. We only need one for this move. So we're gonna start with the dumbbell back. We're gonna bring it up, come to the sit up like this. Back down, arms overhead. Really exhale. Each time you encounter that resistance when you're pressing up. Last time. Great job. We're gonna flip it back to the plank again. Hanging on to one dumbbell this time, we're gonna do a dumbbell switch.
feet out up to plank. We're gonna raise the dumbbell to the chest and pause. Bring it to the opposite hand, raise it, switch. And what you wanna focus on here is not twisting too much. Pretend like you've got a glass of wine resting on the top of your back and you're trying not to let it spill. So your hips are gonna rotate just a little bit, but you wanna try and keep them closed off parallel with the mat. This is all about very precise moves. This isn't about speed here. Really focus in on what we're working. Great job, come down to your knees. We're gonna come back to the seated position again. We're gonna lift our heels off the floor and twist. We're gonna do four slow. Two, three, and then eight fast. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back to those slow. Four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep at it, you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, this is it, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Next step up, we're gonna stay in this position, seated nice and tall again, we're gonna do a figure eight with one dumbbell. So these dumbbell, the dumbbell is going to come underneath each knee, follow me. And we're kind of crunching forward and back with that core. Toes are pointed. We're gonna switch, go the opposite direction. It's a little tricky at first to get used to. In just a second. All right, let's go the opposite way. <laughs> there we go. The great thing about fitness is that it's great for your brain too. Full body exercise. Here we go. Four seconds. Great job. Flip it back. We're gonna come back onto all fours here. Knees slightly hovered, both dumbbells directly under the shoulders. This is what I like to call a bear position. So we're just gonna get on the tips of our toes, bring our knees up just a couple of inches off the mat, raising each arm, bringing the elbows to graze the rib cage on the way up. This is gonna work the back, it's gonna work the triceps, and I can definitely feel it in my core. Make sure your core is still tight and engaged here. I can feel this everywhere. Anytime you're in this plank position, guaranteed it's full body with a lot of emphasis on your abs and your arms. Crunches aren't the only way. All right, last move is going to be alternating between a classic push-up and a tricep push-up. You can do it on your knees or on your feet. I like to go on my knees because I'm still working my way up. <laughs> so bring the arms out wide for a classic push-up. Press down, palms in. Tricep push-up, elbows grazing the rib cage again. Come out and in. Really feeling that explosion on the way up. Exhaling, loud audibly on the way up can help you summon up more of that strength. Listen. Couple left here, let's try and get one more. Awesome job. And guess what you guys, we've got a little bit of a break and I'm gonna throw a bonus round at you guys. We're gonna come back onto our back with both dumbbells.
We're not done yet. All right, we're gonna do eight of these and you'll see in a minute why these are a bonus. Arms up overhead. So, as we lower the legs, we're gonna lower the arms outward into a fly. One, exhale when you come back up. Two, three, four, halfway, five, six, seven, okay you guys, let's go to 10. We've got eight, come on, keep it up, nine, last one, and whew, awesome job.